Tasha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Virgo, you know the drill. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Do not try to force the shoe to fit. It will only confuse you. Uh, it either is your reading or it isn't. If it's not, that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at some point in time. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is located in my description box. So I just wanted to personally thank and give all of you who have been uh, keeping my ass busy busy with these personal readings. Uh, for those of you that have been hitting me up on the tarot line, the live tarot line, Your Harmonic Wave, thank you, thank you. Huge shout out and a great big thank you. For those of you that have been sending good karma donations, thank you. The universe is not sleeping on you. You will be rewarded in kind. So thank you for that. Uh, also, uh, if you are looking for a live over the phone reading, for those of you that are new to the channel, I please take a look at the link, Your Harmonic Wave, in the description box, and you can get a live reading with me over the phone if that is something that you are interested in, okay? So Virgos, as you can see, cards have already been shuffled and drawn, and we're going to shuffle and draw some more as the reading progresses. But I just wanted to look at your energy right now and see what's going on with you. So it looks like you may have told someone or you know what it is. I'm feeling like you want to tell someone how you feel about them. Virgo, you love somebody. Yes, you do. You can't hide it. Don't hide it. It's okay. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't know how to tell someone that you love them. Mm -hmm. Someone may be fulfillment for you. I feel like. You feel like someone balances out your life or you feel more balanced inside with this person around. That's what I feel like. But you don't know how to tell them this. There is... A... Some of you, Virgo, you may have told someone that you are better by yourself. You do better by yourself or you just want to be by yourself. Uh, that make that's what makes you happy, okay? And Virgo, you are the hermit uh, of the tarot. So I, if you say that, I believe you, <laughs> okay? You want to be by yourself? Okay, you're a Virgo. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I, I can see that. Virgo, you know what I'm feeling with you too, though? You're having a hard time forgiving somebody for something that they did. Now, you love this person, you really love this person, and you are happy with this person, or you were happy with this person, uh, this person was like wish fulfillment for you. They might as well have been wish fulfillment for you, but you don't know how to get over something that they did. Uh, you could have been juggled, or this person didn't make you a priority in their life. But I also feel like you are, you're learning how to release these low I want to say lower energies okay so anger resentment pain bitterness there's something about unforgiveness here Virgo you may still have this person up for something that they did someone cheated someone had a third party or someone put other other things or other people before you mm -hmm. they did not make you a priority you're healing from this now you may want to tell this person that but you don't know how to. Mm -hmm. Because there's an aspect you have. You, you're balancing out your energy because you are healing from things that happened in the past. Uh, emotional wounds. Like I said, anger, resentment, uh, bitterness. I, I'm even hearing frustration. Just hurt. Hurt and pain. You're healing from it. And this is allowing you to... Uh, bring more peace and balance into your life you may have gone through a time where internally you are very chaotic uh, a lot really conflicted not really focusing on yourself the way how you should have been not listening to your inner guidance yeah not listening to your outer guidance from source guides angels ancestors 
I feel like too, Virgo, you, you may have in the past not really known what your passions were, what your spark was, what really made you happy. I feel like you were trying to figure out who you were in the past. Mm -hmm. You're healing from all of this now. Mm -hmm. Aw, okay, okay, that's nice. Spirit, what happened? What happened with this uh, energy? I wish what happened with Virgo, period. What happened in the recent past? Or the past period? Energy is fluid. You have Page of Swords in reverse. Is someone watching you? Mm -hmm. Spirit, can I get some more messages for Virgo, please? Story unfolds, Virgo. King of Wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. I feel like you were watching somebody's ass, Virgo. You were watching their movements because they've been on some bullshit. Yeah, look at this. Three of Cups in reverse. Uh -huh. Someone was out um, having he a good time. A good time with her body. Her body. Okay? Yeah, Virgo. Okay. Someone could have put on a show that they were someone or some way that they really aren't. Because you you have the king of wands here. Okay, in reverse, this person had a third party on you. Third party doesn't always mean somebody else. It just means something that um, someone puts above you. Okay, because there is this strong energy uh, with you, Virgo, of someone not really focusing on the relationship the way how they should have. They, were not, um, they not, weren't giving it the attention and the energy that it needed. I'm hearing sustenance, sustenance. Someone wasn't feeding into the relationship because they were busy having a good time, okay, with other people. And you were watching them. Oh, yes, you were. You were watching someone's ass because you didn't trust them. Now, you could have made it seem like you weren't uh, because I'm feeling an energy of like, it's like separation and you're watching someone to see what they're going to do. And, and true to their energy, they went and fucked around or been fucking around. So that's why maybe you're in this energy now of not knowing how to approach them, what to say to somebody. This could be the, uh, the, the king of wands in reverse too. Virgo, someone may not know what to say to you because of the things that they did. They don't know how to explain themselves yeah but virgo you ain't no fool <laughs> no you're not so when someone thought that you weren't paying attention you fucking were yes you were now you may not have said anything to someone but you were paying attention to what the fuck they were doing and they were on some bullshit someone was drinking smoking having a good time partying mm -hmm. yeah other people, someone was talking to up to three different people. Masculine, feminine energy, it doesn't matter. And for someone in this collective, they are bisexual, they're just talking to everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody, anybody. Or a body. Or a body. That's why I got that. Let's read any more messages. Yeah, five of swords. Left you feeling deflated, right? Left you feeling... you feeling weak because it's like you wanted something to move forward with someone so bad but it wasn't this is the wheel of fortune in reverse this also talks about bad karma some, some of you could have been with a karmic soulmate there's some element here of things just not working out and you just feeling absolutely I want to say beside yourself you know like you hit rock bottom because something was not moving forward. Virgo, you could have been in a very, very depressed state with this person when you were with them because of what they were doing. Because someone really didn't care about how they dealt with you. No.
Could you... Did someone say something to you, Virgo? Did someone tell you or send you some kind of message? There was some kind of text message, email, letter. Something was sent. Some form of communication was sent that left another energy feeling absolutely deflated with themselves. Like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. And something was not moving forward at all. It was because of other outside influences. Yes, you have these th three of cups in reverse. This doesn't have to be romantic, though. For some of you, Virgo, you were dealing with someone who just... They just put other things, other people before you, right? This could be someone who worked a lot or liked to hang out with their friends a lot or um, put their family before you, their friends... But something was it broken. Something was broken. And that left you feeling absolutely dishonored, right? Like you didn't honor me. You didn't honor our relationship. You weren't faithful to our relationship. You weren't loyal. Because someone did something. I'm hearing degraded, degradation, degraded. Someone degraded the value of the relationship. So... It's like a high value relationship, but they acted like it wasn't nothing. It wasn't a big deal. Being with Virgo wasn't a big deal. But Virgo, you are a fucking big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. There's something about someone's eyes here. Someone has like beautiful blue eyes or green eyes. Someone's eyes are absolutely fucking gorgeous. <laughs> wow. Green eyed giant. I just heard green eyed giant. <laughs> Green eyed giant, you blue eyed giant, you green eyed giant. Virgo, some of you are dealing with someone who's very tall and had beautiful eyes. Mm -hmm. Or that could be you. Virgo, I feel like in the past something wasn't moving forward and, and you were pretending to be happy. But you weren't. And I can feel it. You know what I'm, I'm, I'm hearing? FML, fuck my life. That's how you were feeling, Virgo. FML, hashtag FML. It's like you wanted something with somebody, but they were just on something else. And you were trying to pretend to act like everything was okay or everything was going to get better, but it didn't. This is Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Something was not moving forward. This is a karmic cycle, though. That You were in a karmic cycle with someone. Any more messages, Spirit? Any more messages? Yeah, the hanged man. The hanged man. It's like in this uh, energy of you, I, I just want to be left alone. Virgo, did you tell someone that you just want to be left alone? You went into straight up hermit mode with somebody. Virgo, yes, you did. I just heard it. I just want to be left alone. And you weren't speaking to anybody nobody were you like nobody someone in this collective you like locked yourself away from everybody because you just didn't want to deal you didn't know how to deal with this mm -hmm. but you were going through a transition yes you were it's like you were in this energy of you got time to think about what you really want for your life mm -hmm. Now, as much as this sucked, you were very much in a transition phase from one area to the next, from one chapter to a next, because you decided to abandon something with someone. I feel like in this time of you being on your own, you really learn how to boss up in yourself. And that means like learning that you are your own wish fulfillment and learning how to balance out your own energies. Because some of you Virgos, you were really... It's like your energy was clinging on to someone else's energy for happiness, a fulfillment in some way. And you realize that you don't even need to do that. If you want to be happy, it comes from you. I just did the Taurus reading. Maybe this is the theme for the, um, for the earth signs because this is what I've been getting for all three signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So it's just like you realize that it, it's like you, you took some time for yourself Someone made you feel like you were less than nothing. Did you hear what I said? Less than nothing someone made you feel. 
And you decided to lock yourself away and deal with whatever shit you got to deal with within yourself. You realized in this time that happiness comes from you and nobody can make you happy. You have to already be happy. You balanced out your energies. Mm -hmm. Now, as much as you love someone or loved someone, it didn't matter. That, that none of that mattered because what was most important was that you needed to learn how to love yourself this was a rebirth okay this was like virgo transforming into virgo 2.0 okay because there was some you did not understand certain understand certain things before but oh you're getting it now oh yes you are you left the situation with someone because it wasn't it wasn't providing you with fulfillment. Mm -hmm. It wasn't providing you with fulfillment. It wasn't being moved forward either. And you know what? I feel, Virgos, that you decided that you weren't going to be with someone anymore. This could have left this person feeling deflated as well. But you know what? I'm, he I'm, I'm hearing tit for tat. So it's like, Virgo, you were in a relationship with someone and they would do some fucked up shit. So you would do some fucked up shit. And this kept on going on for a while until someone just got tired of it. And I feel like you got tired of it, Virgo. And you're just like, you know what? Fucking forget it. Forget it then. I'm not going to fight for this. I'm not going to want to say what I want to be with you. I feel like that's why you decided not to say something to someone anymore. Because it was like, you know what? I'm hearing that song. Um, say something. I'm giving up on you. Hmm. I don't even know who sings that song. Anywhere I would have followed you. <laughs> I feel like that's what this was, Virgo. You just didn't even, you didn't either, you didn't know how to say something to them, or you just decided that you're not going to say anything anymore because this wasn't going anywhere. And you made a decision. You could have sent someone a text message telling them, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to let this go now. Mm hmm. You could have sent someone an email or gave someone a, a letter. Someone sent someone like some, a long series of text messages explaining how they felt, everything that was going on, and why. So you gave this person a thorough explanation as to why you are letting go of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or someone could have sent you a text message or sent you an email or some kind of message, some kind of form of communication was sent, Virgo, to you on why the relationship was ending. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ace of Swords in reverse. I'm going to pull one more card. You know what? Let me... Oh, okay, Spirit said, pull one more card. Pull one more card. Spirit, can I get one more card, please? Can I get one more card? Virgo, were you with someone who had a bad temper? Mm -hmm. You may have decided that you weren't moving forward with someone just because of their temper. Someone could have been a tyrant. Uh, they had very self-destructive tendencies that they didn't see. And for some of you, Virgo, this is you. Don't shoot the messenger, Okay. This is all in love. You recognize your own patterns. You can work on them, right? Mm -hmm. But someone was being uh, very tyranty. <laughs> okay, I know that's not a word. But it's self-destructive. Someone had a bad temper. And there's something about some kind of embarrassment. Embarrassment because something didn't move forward. And this is, look at this. This is Knight of Coins in reverse, Virgo. So when I say not moving forward, like not moving at all. Mm-hmm. So either you could have decided that you've had enough and just pumped the brakes on something or someone decided that with you. But there's something about a, tr a truth, a truth that wasn't seen, that something was not moving forward. Someone didn't want to see that until they had to see it. You understand what I'm saying? Hmm. It's like you can deny it all you want, but... It's going to happen anyway because this is this is the hanged man. This is changes. This is rebirth. This process is going to happen whether you fucking like it or not. Okay? This shit's happening. Hmm. 
Wow, okay. Spirit, how does this energy that Virgo is dealing with, how do they feel? What's going on in their subconscious? How do they feel about the situation? Say something, I'm giving up on you. Why do I keep hearing that song? Who is this song for? Oh, okay. You have 12 of water. Let me pull some more. Virgo, were you dealing with a water sign? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah. Oh, look at this. And there you are. Okay. Oh, okay. You have five of water. Let me pull some more cards. Virgo, I feel love. I feel love here. I feel love, I feel hurt, I feel despair, I feel like, ah, uh, there it is, there it is. Virgo, ah, this is, this is kind of fucked up, and I'm going to explain why, I'm going to explain why. Look at this, man, man, oh man, this is two people that were on some bullshit with each other, right? Mm-hmm. This is two people that were on some bullshit with each other and it got out of hand. That's what happened. Oh, oh, you're going to cheat on me? I'm going to go cheat on you. Oh, you're going to cheat on me? I'm going to talk to two niggas. Okay, you're going to talk to two niggas? I'm going to talk to three bitches. Okay, I can do better than that. You think you're going to come for me? I'm going to come for you. And it just got bigger and bigger and bigger until it was like it blew up. The relationship imploded. That's what happened. Okay, very, very self-destructive energy here. This person is feeling like you broke their heart. You, you broke their heart. Absolutely. This person has so much love for you, Virgo. And I feel like you were dealing with someone who didn't even really want to do the things that they did. They just didn't want to seem like no punk bitch. Uh-huh. Someone didn't want to feel stupid. So it's like, I can't have Virgo here dealing with me away or Virgo, you're like, I can't have this person dealing with me away, <laughs> okay? But there is, this person has so much fucking love for you. They look at you as like a connection, a very strong soul tie. Mm -hmm. This person looks at you like you guys are connected, duh, okay? Tied together. They, they, they had intimacy with you. Uh, they felt creative with you. They felt stable and secure with you. Let me show you something. And Virgo, you can't lie to me. You felt like that with this person too. Okay? You felt like that with this person too. This person desires for this to be over. But when I say this to be over, I mean like the pain to be over. This person is suffering inside. Oh, yes, they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. They're still very much in love with you. I feel like they're sorry for the things that they did, for the hurt that they caused. They're sorry for the hurt that both of you caused on each other. <laughs> but they have a desire for this, just this fighting, the, 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 for this to be over. They know that you're not supposed to be like this with them. You two are not supposed to be like this. This is not how the relationship is supposed to go. They know that. And they really want to put an end to that. Yeah, they do. Virgo, this person thinks that you are beautiful. Beautiful from the inside out. There's something about someone's eyes. This person looks at you as someone that you they could grow something with build something you could have a child with this person or children but they view you as like a great parent mm -hmm. i'm hearing or learning how to be a better parent this person could have gotten advice from someone uh, a feminine older feminine energy or just a feminine energy that they're close to uh, they could be listening to tarot or got a reading on you virgo Put the energy where it goes, Virgo, you could have done this. But you, uh, this person is so broken over what's happened between you two. Now, they may be putting on a front like everything's cool, but it's not. Under the surface, 
this person is mourning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like the relationship died and they just can't get over it. And they just want this to be over. They don't want to be in this space with you anymore. No. This person's like, yo, my, my ride or die, my shotgun's gone. Mm -hmm. My partner in crime is gone. Aww. My heart. My heart is gone. Wow. So can I get some more messages? I was not even ready for that, right? Because I was getting ready to cuss them out and be like, this motherfucker, Virgo, fuck them. No, I feel so much love here, man. I feel so much love. Any more messages, Spirit, about how this energy feels? Feels about the situation, about Virgo? Yes, they want a new beginning. This, And that's what I feel like. I want to just... Huh. <laughs> this kind of love, Virgo? Whew. This kind of love is something deep, man. Like, it's very, like, all-encompassing. Mm -hmm. It takes your breath away. This is how this person loves you. This is what you do to this person, Virgo. This person thinks you are absolutely beautiful. I'm hearing exotic beauty. Exotic beauty. There's something about someone's face. You have a... Is it a birthmark on your face, on your cheek? On Is it on your, your right cheek or your neck? Someone has a heart shape. Uh, it's not, is it a tattoo or a birthmark on their face or their neck? They think that you are absolutely gorgeous. You're exotic looking. Like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, and you are. You are. Someone's eyes are blue or green, and they are the deepest blue and the deepest green. And my goodness. You take my breath away. <laughs> yes, you do. Someone is... Uh, wow. Oh, wow. Someone's absolutely in love with you. And they're never going to stop loving you, Virgo. No matter what you do or what you don't do, they're never going to stop loving you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. No. And they know that they were on some fuckery with you. They know. Okay, they are aware of their behavior. Okay, someone knows that they could have been uh, absent or they're going around sleeping with people or not being a very good parent. I could have been an absentee father or mother, mm -hmm. but they weren't really present. Someone was uh, gone about their business doing their own thing. Okay. Someone decided they were going to go live their best life and never got anything good out of it, okay? Because they realized that their best life is with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone sees how beautiful and unique you are, how different you are, and how very blessed they are to have someone like you in their life. Mm-hmm. Someone has freckles, is it freckles on, um, on your hands or on your face or on your neck. Your person thinks that you are absolute, you're a goddess or you're a god, <laughs> okay? They think everything is beautiful about you. They ain't never seen a beauty like yours or someone so handsome before. Like they, oh, oh my God, I need to stop. This energy is like, ah, <laughs> oh my goodness. Someone thinks you're like a motherfucking butterfly. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why you're on the butterfly effect, okay? Someone thinks that you are unique, you're different, you are exotic. Mm -hmm. Someone sees you for who you are now. They never saw it back then. Or, you know what, I feel like they did, but they had to force themselves not to because someone didn't want to look like no punk bitch. Mm -hmm. So it was like tit for tat that got way out of hand. That's what it was. That's what it was. Spirit, what's the potential outcome of this? Uh, okay, what is the potential outcome? Oh, no, 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 you know what? I'm going to, what's the mutual energy? What is the mutual energy between Virgo and this energy that they're dealing with? Look at this. I wasn't, I just was trying to keep it within 20 minutes, but Spirit wanted to speak, so I'm here for it. Victory in reverse. Hmm. Okay. Spirit, what's that about? Can I get another one? Both of you guys feel like this is not going to work. Yeah. 
that there's no, it's like there's no going back after certain things have been done. And it's just, it wouldn't work out. So can I get another uh, card for mutual energy? Yeah, because look at this. You have 28, 2 plus 8 is 10. It's like someone knows that, uh, or they feel, both of you feel like this is over with each other. Like this cycle is over and it's done. Mm -hmm. And both of you are being patient. <laughs> yeah. Both of you are waiting to see what happens in divine timing. It's like, if we're really meant to be, then we will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, though, you may be being kind of cold to this person or feel feel some coldness towards each other right now. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Spirit, what is the potential outcome? What's the potential outcome? Oh, Spirit's like, pull this one. Okay. Spirit, what's the potential outcome between Virgo and this energy? Someone likes somebody's voice. Mm -hmm. It's like a deep, kind of raspy, but not raspy. It's just, it's just sexy. It's sexy. It's deep sexy. Uh huh. And this is a feminine energy and a masculine energy. So there's a masculine Virgo for my feminines that they, they love your voice. You have like that, it's like that um, what is it, Alicia Keys, Beyonce type of voice, like that deep, feminine, sexy. Mm hmm. Okay, or some masculine in this collective, you have like some deep, very white voices. It's really, really hot. <laughs> you just say something to them, this person, and whoo, they ready to go. Mm -hmm. Close off, baby, close off. Wow. What's the potential outcome, Spirit? The thinking man in reverse. Why are you two being so stubborn? Both of you are deciding to not think about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you don't know what to think about this. Yeah. <laughs> but you're still very attached to this person energetically. Now, this is an attachment out of fear or doubt or something, though. Mm -hmm. So it's like you two are waiting and watching each other to see who's going to make the first move, if anyone is going to make the first move. Mm hmm So it's like mentally you're not trying to think about the person or what's going on with them or the situation with them. But energetically, there's still a very strong soul tie and an attachment. But this attachment is this is not healthy attachment. OK, this is attachment out of fear or doubt or feeling like you can't do something without somebody. Spirit, it's like some kind of change that needs to be made. And and. That's what I got with the hanged man. Like it or not, Virgo, she's changing. Mm -hmm. This has to change. Any more messages for potential outcome spirit? Any more messages? All tied up. Oh my goodness. Are you serious right now? Yeah. That's that attachment. You feel tied to this person. And there is a very strong soul tie here. So it's like both of you are just waiting and watching to see if anything happens. To see if each other is going to make a move or do something. Wow. I'm going to pull one last card of guidance and advice. Spirit, what last words of guidance and advice do you have for the Virgo Collective in regards to this situation? Virgo, I'm being, um, I'm being guided to do uh, extended for you. Now, I only do extendeds when I get that uh, intuitive hit to do it. So Spirit's saying to do an extended. So I will do that. If you feel so inclined to join me in the extended, I will look deeper into the situation with this person. Mm -hmm. And get into the real nitty gritty of what's going on. Because there's... You two feel so tied and connected to each other and you're trying so hard not to think about it. <laughs> okay? So I want to dive deeper into that and see what's going on. If, what potential changes are going to be made in time. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if you're interested, the extended will be in the description box. The link for the extended will be in the description box. Spirit, what words of guidance and advice do you have for Virgo right now? Thank you. 
vacation. <laughs> Virgo, you need a motherfucking vacation, okay? Plan a vacation that is restful, relaxing, and affordable, okay? Spirits, I give this a break, okay? Because this is this shit's exhausting. Release worries about your work or responsibilities and allow yourself time to relax. And that's what I was getting with this attachment card. Like someone in this collective feels like, uh, maybe you feel like you can't stop working or you you don't want to think about the situation with this person. You just want to focus on other things. And Spirit's like, no, 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 no. You need to just pull back. Pull back. Give yourself time to assess what's going on within yourself, right? Because someone needs to take a break so that they take a break from feeling all tied up. Someone, Spirit wants you to plan a solo trip, choose a vacation partner or group wisely, go out and hang out with some friends, spend time near moving water to recharge as a water sign. I get that. If I'm happy, sad, feeling in between, whatever, I go buy large bodies of water because it makes me feel good, okay? Take a shower, take a bottle, bubble bath, but Spirit wants you to go around water. Water is very, very healing, okay? And for some of you, Spirit is letting you know that a vacation is on the horizon, okay? So if you are planning a vacation, this is confirmation that you're doing the right thing. If not, Spirit is saying you're going to get one anyway, okay? <laughs> Aww. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to take this over into the extended and see what's going on. If you are interested, please join me. We'll see what's going on with this, this situation here with this person because I know there's way more to this. I just know it. Okay, Virgo? Uh, if this is where we part ways, I bid you adieu. Thank you so much for checking out the vid. If not, I will see you over in the extended. Uh, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.